Hey guys, today I got another Philippines news update and perhaps some good news in the horizon. Stick around. Okay, so here we go. So we have some news coming out of the Philippines today and elsewhere, but first I'm going to get you caught up just on some local stuff that's going on and then we'll jump into hopefully what I can, uh, what I foresee as good news. So stick around to the end of the video. So, uh, as of this was yesterday, Cebu logs 151 new cases. So Cebu is actually on the rise. I think it's the highest uh, amount of cases coming out of anywhere in the Philippines right now um, is coming out of Cebu. And we're hoping that they don't decide to lock down. They, they have indicated that they don't really want to do that. Um, so I don't think they will, but they may be stricter on things like passes and uh, other things like that and face masks and face shields and all of that. Uh, but yeah, Cebu continues to rise on on, uh, daily, on a daily count. Uh, the cases continue to rise. So uh, tighter restrictions ruled out despite rising cases, which is exactly what I was talking about in Cebu. They don't want to go backwards and lock down more. Um, I think th they would if they have to, but they don't want to. And actually in previous news, um, the, the IATF, I think, or the IATA, IATF, uh, they came out and they said, hey, it's now okay for ages 10 to 14 to go out into like the malls and places like that. Um, but the president here in the Philippines actually came out and reversed it. He didn't want that. Um, so they have reversed that and, and now they cannot. But initially they would have been able to, uh, but they the president here had reversed that. Um, next, uh, Philippines economy posts biggest contraction ever. Now, for the Philippines, this is bad news, but it could be possibly good news um, for people thinking about getting into the Philippines because I think because of these large uh, numbers in the economy, you know, the contraction that uh, could possibly sway them to perhaps open up earlier. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We'll keep an eye out. But the Philippines economy shrank at the fastest pace ever as measures to contain the coronavirus and the string of natural disasters hurt businesses and households. Uh, according to the Philippines Statistics Authority, gross domestic product fell by 9.5% in 2020. Uh, and that's huge. The largest drop since the 7% recorded in 1984. So you have to go all the way back to 1984. And even back then, they only had it at 7%. So this is huge. Um, and so 2020 uh, will be remembered as the most difficult year of our lives. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I won't go into all of this, but let's, uh, let's see what happens. This could possibly be a maybe a push to go ahead and, hey, we need to start uh, getting uh, income into the Philippines here. So we'll see what happens. Um, next, uh, foreigners with valid visas can travel to the Philippines. Now, this, is, this came out a few days ago already, so a lot of you probably already know this news uh, came out on the 25th. Um, but it is good news because we initially had uh, the lockdowns and they banned the countries and banned um, entry into the Philippines, but then they opened it back up starting on February 1. So foreigners bearing valid visas can now travel to the Philippines, but are still subjected to strict health and quarantine protocols. Um, they are now saying that once you arrive in the Philippines, um, you have to wait five days. They don't test you immediately like they did before. You have to wait five days, then they test you. And uh, if you do have the COVID, then they would go ahead and quarantine you on the spot. If not, I believe they let you go ahead and travel to your destination or your residence, and then you would still, uh, they want you to quarantine at that area for 14 days. So uh, foreigners with valid visas, including personnel of accredited international organizations and spouse and minor children of Filipino citizens are allowed to travel to the Philippines. Okay. So again, all these articles are going to be down in the comment section, not the description. Uh, and lastly, and this is where I, where I talk about, I think this could be good news. Now you're probably wondering, what does Thailand have to do with the Philippines? And, and I'll get to that in a second here, but Thailand may fully reopen soon. 
considers no quarantine for vaccinated travelers. Now, this is what most people were hoping would happen. They uh, hoped that they could take the vaccine and then things would just open up like pretty quickly. And a lot of people are now discovering that, um, no, that's not the way things are working out. In fact, the Philippines actually had stated that even if you got the uh, vaccine, you'd still need to test when you get here and still need to quarantine. Um, but uh, Thailand is now saying it, it, it's considering now. It, it doesn't mean, um, you know, that uh, it's going to happen, but it's considering allowing vaccinated travelers to skip the mandatory quarantine. Uh, right now, the quarantine is 15 days in, in uh, Thailand. You know, upon arrival, you got to stay at a certified hotel and um, they test you, I think, two or three times while you're there. Um, and then you're free to go wherever. Now, I think as a tourist, you still only get like 90 days. Um, but it's a proposed plan aptly named Welcome Back to Thailand Again. The kingdom hopes to see travelers return by the third quarter of this year. I think that would be, what, around July? If, if I'm wrong on this, let me comment down below. But travelers need to present proof of COVID vaccines, vaccinations, both doses in the usual visa requirements if the plan pushes through thailand could be the first asian country to fully reopen its tourism uh, vaccinations are rolled out in several countries global estimates suggest that one billion people will be inoculated globally by june so i, I think i am on on par with the uh, third quarter being july um, thai authorities are reportedly interested in immunity passports and and this is something that they're already working on um, in different countries or vaccine passports as part of the travel documents organizations like iata have developed travel pass or digital health passes which contain key testing vaccine details airlines such as american and singapore airlines have trial digital passes but as part of its contactless scheme uh, thailand heavily relies on tourism but tourist rivals fell by over 80 percent in 2020 due to the pandemic Latest reports claim that more than a million jobs have been lost by the outbreak. The government agrees and supports that resuming travel will be the only way to present widespread job losses. Okay, so why is this possibly good news for the Philippines, possibly reopening? Because I really think that here in Southeast Asia, I think the Philippines really is kind of following what a lot of other countries in the area are doing. Um, just like when Thailand had decided to do some bubble tourism with certain countries then the philippines started talking about it um, and now we have um you know thailand trying to implement uh some tourism in in the philippines has also been talking about it i've read a few news articles so i think that if this goes through and um it's possible that the philippines could follow suit um in the nearby future we'll we'll have to see what happens again it's certainly better than waiting all the way till 2022 which a lot of my viewers and me personally think that uh travel may not happen till 2022 but then i saw this today and again i really think that the philippines will follow suit if they see thailand do it and they see that they have some success with it i think they could follow suit and um now we have to see what other countries are going to do as well. Uh, there's talk about Indonesia, Cambodia, um, other countries doing something similar. So we'll, I'll be uh, monitoring the news uh, over the next few days and, and over the next weeks and months and, and see what happens with this. But uh, I do potentially see this as being good news. Um, I think Thailand really is really making the push to open things up. They really want to. Um, they probably need or i wouldn't say need but they probably rely on tourism dollars much more than the philippines to be honest i don't know what the uh, tourism numbers are for thailand but i think they're quite high much higher than the philippines actually so let's see what happens let's see if the philippines would follow suit let's see if the philippines talks about this now that thailand has come out and said this uh let's see what happens so uh, cross our fingers and let's see uh what else is going on not a whole lot uh is going on i'm going uh to buy one again tomorrow 
and uh, I will do another walk and talk video. I didn't have my gimbal and it wasn't on a weekend, so I will, I will have my gimbal. It'll be a much better video and I will uh, show you what Biowan has to offer. I think it's actually a really great, um, not only a vacation destination because there's a lot of nature and, and, and uh, things to see there, but uh, also I, I think that it's a really good retirement area for a lot of people. If you like a quieter, more provincial type of lifestyle, but still have some amenities, you know, there's coffee shops, there's some malls, there's a, there's a hospital. If something major happened, you probably have to head over to Dumagetti, but they got live music um, on the weekends. They got uh, barbecue joints on the, on the beach. Um, again, stay tuned for that video. I will be out there tomorrow and I'll be doing the, some filming on that. And then um, I might show the local entertainment, like um, the live music and stuff, and just show you how talented some of these uh, Fil Filipinos are with their singing and stuff. Um, that would be on my Patreon and my YouTube membership uh, video. Um, the, the Walk on the Boulevard I'll put on the main channel, but the other, one, other stuff I'll put on the uh, Patreon and YouTube membership. Uh, if you haven't already joined, that is one way you can support me and get exclusive uh, access to video content that I don't put on the main channel. And uh, yeah, I'd appreciate that. So guys, um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support. My channel has uh, continued to grow over this uh, last year, and I really appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Guys, uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share the video if you found it useful. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell notification. That'll keep you updated every time I come out with a new video or do a live stream. And I will see you guys next time.